What's up everybody? Here in Maine, it is definitely still winter, but the regular riding season is actually coming up fairly soon. And I'm sure that this year, like last year, there are gonna be a lot of people who are getting into mountain biking for the first time. Now, if you've gotten interested in mountain biking, you've probably noticed that the bikes are crazy expensive, uh, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. There is a whole ton of mountain bike gear that you could buy and all of it costs a fortune. So that kind of raises the question, which of those things do you actually need and which of those are just kind of nice to have or maybe don't even matter at all? So that's what we're gonna dive into today in this video. What mountain biking gear, specifically talking about the gear that goes on your body, do you actually need and what's just kind of nice to have? Obviously, this is my own personal opinion, uh, but I'm right, so it's fine. Now, you may not be familiar with all of these pieces of equipment, so I'm gonna bring in a friend of mine, Mirror Universe Charlie, to demonstrate. And there he is. How's it going? Yeah, Mr. Nice, Mr. Little. <laughs> That's marvelous. Now, we're gonna go from the top down, and that means we're starting with the helmet, and this is the easy one. Yes, you need a helmet. You need a helmet on day one. Uh, and if you really, really genuinely fall into the category of I have a bike, but I can't afford a helmet, reach out to your local mountain biking organization. I guarantee you there is somebody there who will be willing to buy you a helmet, to lend you a helmet. You only get one brain, so buy a friggin' helmet. Eye protection or sunglasses, goggles, that kind of thing. Do you need it to start mountain biking? No, nope, absolutely not. Uh, it's nice to have, particularly when it's dry, if you have a, a pair of goggles or um, if it's really cold, it can be nice to have goggles just to protect things from flying into your eyes, but you don't need it to get started. Buy them if you want them, not necessary. Moving down further, the jersey. This piece of mountain biking kit looks really cool, but do you actually need one? Absolutely not. Uh, in my opinion, this should be one of the last things that you buy because you can wear pretty much any shirt when you're out biking. Uh, you probably don't want to wear cotton because that will not wick your sweat away from your body but if you have any kind of athletic shirt whatsoever that's going to work fine for riding a mountain bike you do not need a mountain bike specific jersey of any kind body armor do you need it no you don't uh, this is the thing that's really nice to have if you're starting to get off the ground a little bit more you want to try some features that you're not that comfortable with uh, for me i find it just gives me a little bit of confidence to push that extra step but is it necessary? Do you need to spend that money? No, absolutely not. Uh, and if you've got an old pair of hockey pads, lacrosse pads, that kind of thing just lying around the house, that would work fine. Next up, backpack or some kind of pack, some kind of water carrier, or something like that. Do you need that to start mountain biking? No, this is something that I would purchase pretty early on, especially if you're gonna be doing any trips further afield. You want something to be able to carry some tools, carry some water, carry some food. So it is nice to have. Uh, but you don't need it to get out there on your bike and start riding. You also don't need a mountain biking specific backpack. This backpack was actually made for climbing. Doesn't matter. I love it. Works perfectly for mountain biking. So whatever backpack you've already got is going to work fine. Elbow pads. Do you need those? Nope, you don't need those either. You may be starting to catch a theme here, which is that you really don't need that much gear to actually get started mountain biking. Now, when do you want to buy those elbow pads? When you start doing more hardcore downhill type stuff, or your wheels start leaving the ground a little bit more often, that's the point where you might think, uh, yeah, I maybe want to throw some elbow pads on. Uh, if you crash and you hurt your elbows, that's a good sign you might want to get some elbow pads. Do you need gloves? Uh, you probably know the answer to that. There are plenty of people who ride without gloves and that's just the way that they ride all the time. Personally, my hands get super sweaty. So if I don't have gloves, I'm not gonna be able to grip anything. For me, I need gloves. That's a day one kind of thing that I needed to get started riding. You probably know best whether or not you're going to need gloves, but it is certainly possible to ride a mountain bike without gloves. So unless your hands get super sweaty like mine do, you probably don't need those. The chamois, in other words, the padded spandex underwear. Uh, do you need this? No, you don't, however, this is something I would recommend buying pretty early on, maybe even day one, because it will allow you to stay on the bike for longer. Especially if you're new to mountain biking, you're gonna find that uh, your butt just kind of hurts after a little while riding and you'll get used to it, but the chamois will help, especially early on, and it'll give you that ability to just stay out there on the bike for longer, which means you're gonna have more fun, you're gonna progress faster. So I would say go out and get one of those, this one that Mirror Charlie's wearing is a fancy one, but I also have a cheap knockoff Amazon one, and that one works great too. Fancy mountain bike riding shorts. Do you need those? No, you do not. Uh, they're nice to have, but any pair of shorts or honestly any pair of pants can work for riding mountain bikes. 
The only thing you really need to think about is to make sure that it doesn't have legs that are gonna get caught on your seat because you're standing up and sitting down again, you're moving the seat up and down. You don't want your pants or your shorts to get tangled up in your seat, so they can't be too baggy. But other than that, pretty much any pair of pants that you have is gonna work. If you have any kind of outdoor hiking pants or shorts, that kind of thing, that's gonna be fine. Knee pads, do you need them to start riding mountain bikes? No, you don't. That said, this is probably the first piece of protective gear that I'd recommend purchasing. It's definitely good to have them, not just for falling, but also because you may find that you're banging your knees on your own frame a little bit, especially when you're just getting started, you're kind of not used to the bike and the way that you move on it. Um, so it's nice to have a pair of knee pads. I would recommend getting those pretty early, but you don't need them day one. Shin pads, do you need them? Well, I would say no, you don't. On the other hand, you can see this scar uh, that is the result of my not having shin pads when I was trying to learn to do drops. So I would still say that you don't need shin pads, but they could be really nice to have when you're starting to learn things that involve getting your wheels off the ground. Riding socks, mountain biking specific socks. Do you need those? No, you don't need those. You never need those. Hiking socks are gonna be fine. Running socks are gonna be fine. Anything that's got a little bit of sweat wicking is going to be absolutely fine. So whatever you already have, that's probably gonna work. Riding shoes. Do you need this on day one? Technically no, but I would recommend buying these early. This is one of those things that I probably, I took months before I bought my first real pair of riding shoes and I really wish I'd done it earlier because real pedals and real riding shoes makes a gigantic difference in terms of how your feet stick to the pedals compared to wearing just regular shoes. So this is one that I actually wish I'd bought quite a bit earlier than I did. Uh, you don't need it to start riding a mountain bike and you don't need it to get out there and start having fun, but I would recommend putting those pretty early on your priority list. Okay, I think we don't need the demonstration anymore, so goodbye to Mirror Universe Charlie. Go f*** yourself. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so basically uh, you definitely don't need all the fancy mountain biking gear that you see on YouTube to get out there, uh, start riding, and have fun. And I would encourage everyone to try mountain biking because it is super, super fun. If you have the money, here's what I would recommend buying on day one in addition to that bike. Uh, a helmet, non-negotiable. But I would also recommend the riding shoes, a chamois, some knee pads, and some gloves if you feel like you're the kind of person who's going to need gloves. That's what I would start with on day one. I wouldn't buy anything more than that on day one. And if you don't have the money for all that stuff, that's fine. Helmet is the only thing you really need day one to get out there and start riding. If you wanna get really granular about it, uh, I actually worked out the exact order that I personally would recommend buying this gear in. So this is kind of a priority list from the top priority to the bottom priority. Uh, and I didn't memorize it because I don't love you enough to do that. So we're just gonna read it off the phone here. So from highest to lowest priority, helmet, then shoes, then chamois, then gloves, then knee pads, then backpack, then elbow pads, then shorts, then sunglasses, then body armor, then a jersey, and then special mountain biking socks. And if you get to the point where you're buying special mountain biking socks, uh, then you know what? Maybe it's time to buy that second bike. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. A lot of people watching this channel probably already know all this stuff, but I wanted to get something like this out there for folks who are thinking about getting into mountain biking for next year. And if you know anybody like that, I hope you'll send this video to them and convince them to spend absolutely all of their money on this wonderful, very expensive, but super, super fun, very worth it hobby that we have. Also, if you, uh, if you are a new rider and you found this helpful, definitely hit subscribe, hit like, hit all the buttons, because I post new videos every week about different mountain biking stuff. Sometimes it's looking at different trails, sometimes it's skills that I'm learning. I don't know that much myself, uh, so hit that subscribe button. You can learn along with me this year. It's gonna be another amazing year of riding hopefully a little bit less covid -y, so we'll even get to see some more people. Uh, I'm really excited about it. So yeah, hit subscribe, hit like, hit all the buttons, do the stuff, do the things. Anyway, I hope you get a chance to get outside and ride, and I'll see you next week.